Sometimes people come up with these questions. There are people around me whom I don't like or they don't understand me. And uh, I have all of these people very envious of me and I have negative feelings towards them. They have negative feelings. How do I manage all of these things? Actually, Krishna consciousness as taught in the Bhagavad Gita offers a very wonderful solution. Srila Prabhupada, the great teacher of the Bhagavad Gita, he gives us insights of how the knowledge of Bhagavad Gita can help us overcome and handle these kind of uh, complicated, negative, very debilitating, very depressing situations in our day-to-day -day life. Srila Prabhupada gave an example. Imagine there is a man he is sleeping and he is dreaming and in his dream there is a tiger that's chasing him and he's running for his life and the tiger is just behind him leaping and he's sweating, crying out for help, full of fear. Now when a man is dreaming like this and if you want to help him, what can you do? There are a couple of things that you can do. You can probably jump into his dream world and get a dream gun and shoot the dream tiger or maybe a few other things that you can think of. But one very interesting and simple thing that we can do to help the person who is actually dreaming that a tiger is chasing him and full of fear and sweating just tap on him and wake him up and then once he's woken up and he will look around and say oh my god the tiger is gone and I don't have to fear anymore exactly the same way the knowledge of Krishna consciousness given in the Bhagavad Gita wakes us up to another level of reality which is actually the reality that we must inhabit and we must live in. This material world is like a dream world. It's a dream world in the sense that all of the things that happen in this world are temporary. They come and go. They change. They never stay forever. So we are dealing with a temporary world while actually there is another everlasting eternal reality to which we actually belong. Now when we are conscious of this, that after all this is a dream world and a temporary world and I have to deal with certain inescapable realities in this world, while actually I'm a spirit soul, I'm eternal, I belong to another eternal realm and human form of life is an opportunity to have understanding of that and to access that and to be able to attain that level of reality. And so here in this material world, we have to deal with it, with things as it comes in a more detached, in a more unemotional and as our duty calls for. So if we have this perspective, and we are constantly having certain spiritual practices which is helping us to remind ourselves of the higher reality and helping us to elevate ourselves to that reality. And while we are here in this world, we deal with the realities in a more balanced, in a more equipoised manner, not having, not give too much importance to the negative things or depressing things, do as things call upon us to do dutifully, very responsibly, uh, uh, very, very thoughtfully, but at the same time working on spiritual principles that one day I must achieve that higher reality. So this is a dream world and there is a real world and Gita helps us to awaken us to that real world. And if this perspective is maintained in life, we will know how to handle challenges in this world.